everyone's talking about peptides for fat loss, energy, and endurance. But with so many options, it's tough to know which ones actually matter. See, I've coached thousands of patients through these peptide protocols, and we've narrowed it down, me and my medical practitioners, down to the ones that we're seeing deliver real results. And I get the benefit of being able to work with my medical practitioners, but after the fact, coaching them in lifestyle, and I get to see firsthand these peptide transformations and they're wild. Peptides truly give you a chance to live your best life ever and get into some badass shape at the same time. Fair warning though, most of these are not FDA approved. So what I'll share is based on research and clinical observation. This is not medical advice. And with that being said, let's break down the top peptides for fat loss, energy, and endurance. Real quick, let me tell you about Michelle. She tried everything, every single diet, nothing worked. We started her on a peptide protocol in January. And by June, she was down 47 pounds with more energy than ever before. How? It was the right combination of peptides, not just appetite suppression, but actual metabolic optimization. We improved her metabolism from the ground up. Let me show you exactly what we used. Peptide number one was terzepatide. Now this one is a total game changer. Terzepatide is like Ozempic, but it hits two receptors instead of one. GLP-1 plus GIP. That dual action, game changing. Clinical trials in people with obesity show 15 to 21% body weight loss. And in our clinics, patients that I coach who use it off-label, meaning non-obese, non-diabetic, typically see results on the higher end, some reaching that 21% mark. One fifth of your body weight, nothing else comes close. We start patients off, my medical providers who prescribe patients at 2.5 milligrams. So we start them off at the starter dose, but instead of following that cookie cutter protocol of increasing every four weeks, we increase only if we need to. And in many cases, sometimes never because we're implementing strategic lifestyle intervention. Things to understand about this medication, you will get nausea, it's very real. Ginger tea, small meal, stay hydrated. By week three or four, most people will adjust and feel a lot better. David, 52 year old type two diabetic, six months on terzepatide, he was down 58 pounds off of his diabetic medications. His A1C, which is a measure of it's like a 90 day rolling average of blood sugar, it went from 9.2 to 5.4, total life changing. But here's what nobody will tell you. You will plateau on these GLP ones around month six if you don't address the underlying insulin resistance. That's why we love combining these with strategic lifestyle interventions. By the way, compounded versions are available through specialized pharmacies. Definitely worth exploring if you're gonna use them correctly. Now, what if I told you the most dangerous fat on your body is not the fat that you can grab, but it's actually the visceral fat beneath your abdominal area. Tessamorelin. This is FDA approved for HIV patients with a medical condition known as lipodystrophy. But here's what's interesting. It specifically targets visceral fat. That's the dangerous fat around your organs. You see, it stimulates growth hormone releases and pulses, not constant bleed, but pulses. That's key. This is how your body naturally releases growth hormone. This peptide is amazing because it burns visceral fat over regular fat. Studies show 15 to 20% reduction in your visceral fat within six months. Your waistline shrinks. Even if the scale doesn't move, that's massive health improvement, not just weight loss. But here's what his doctor didn't expect. James, the executive, normal BMI, huge belly, classic skinny fat syndrome. Six months on Tessamorelin, his waist went down from 44 to 38 inches. His doctor was shocked. His cardiac markers, they all improved. By the way, if you're realizing that this could finally be your answer, hit that subscribe button right now because we drop two videos every single week exploring what actually works in metabolic medicine. Not theory, real patient results. Now, here's the controversial one that shouldn't work, but it totally does when you get it right. AOD 9604, the fasting fat burning peptide. AOD 9604 is a controversial one because the main control trials, they didn't really show direct fat burning. And look, I'm telling you right now, AOD on its own, it's not gonna do much. In our practice, our doctors prescribe it because we utilize it as a fasting aid. That's where the magic really happens. Patients don't necessarily lose more weight with AOD, but hundreds independently have told us the same thing. Fasting feels easier. The fat loss, the mobilization of fat, which is what AOD does, really makes us peptide shine. Because when you think about fasting, it's so beneficial for fixing metabolic health and insulin resistance, but it's difficult. It's challenging for your body to ask it to essentially feed itself from your fat stores. And here comes AOD to the rescue. And this is a big deal in patients that have already a lot of stress, a lot of inflammation, PCOS, autoimmune disease. Fasting is still the answer, but a lot of people know that it just doesn't work because it's too stressful. And that's where AOD really shines. It's a phenomenal complement to your GLP-1 medication if you're looking to overhaul your lifestyle with deep fasting. 
disgusting and I'm a big fan of this. Now, <laughs> this is getting a little complex, right? Multiple peptides, specific timing, proper monitoring. This is exactly why our patients, they don't do this alone. But let me show you what else matters. So let's get into the protocol for AOD. 300 micrograms per injection, morning fasted or bedtime can work too as well. Make sure it's an empty stomach and no food 30 minutes before or after. That's critical for absorption. Now, before I tell you the protocol timing, you need to know why this matters. Karen couldn't get past her 16 hour fasts. We added AOD regularly to her protocol and now she's able to fast for 36 plus hours. She lost 35 pounds in 12 weeks through fasting and lifestyle interventions. 12 weeks on for the cycle and four weeks off. And if you're serious about fasting and, and fixing your metabolic health, AOD is a total game changer. But here's where it gets interesting. What about increasing cellular energy production itself? Quick question, what's your biggest struggle? Is it that you can't stop eating or is it stubborn visceral fat around the midsection or every time you try fasting that you struggle because you just can't get past the hunger cravings? Let me know in the comments because I read every single one. If you're only using fat loss peptides, you're literally too tired to burn the fat that you're mobilizing. Let me prove it. These next two peptides actually address that issue. Not stimulation like caffeine, actual cellular energy production. Peptide number four, MOT-C. It's the metabolic activator. So MOT-C is actually made by your mitochondria. Your mitochondria are like the batteries in your cells that actually are producing the energy that your body needs, the breakdown byproducts of the food that you eat. The problem, production crashes by age, say 40, 50. You're making a fraction of what you used to make. It activates this thing in your body called AMPK, which is your master metabolic switch. It improves the uptake of glucose and sugar. It improves fatty burning, fatty oxidation, and the growth of new batteries, new mitochondria. Your cells literally work better. See, the animal studies show impressive endurance improvements. And while we're still waiting for large human controlled trials, what we observe in our practices is very consistent and patients report better workouts, less afternoon crashes, better mental clarity. When you're trying to optimize your health, this one is a big game changer because if you have a lot of stress and a lot of inflammation, your mitochondria aren't functioning as well and MOTC can do a total overhaul. One of our patients, Tom, had chronic fatigue syndrome for over three years. Eight weeks on MOTC, now he's running 5Ks again, energy all day, life transform. But wait, it does get better. The dosing is pretty simple, 10 milligrams of a subcutaneous injection once per week. Some protocols call for three times a week for the first two weeks up front to really get the ball rolling. It's best on your hardest training days to maximize the response. Or some patients split it five milligrams twice a week. Stack it with NAD for some synergy, but there's a specific order that matters. You get this wrong and you won't get the results that you're looking for. Patients tell us that MOTC is a game changer for individuals that are exhausted over 40 years old. And I can validate that working firsthand with these patients. NAD. So NAD is not technically a peptide, but essential for peptide optimization. It's cellular fuel for over 500 different processes in the body. Research suggests that NAD levels drop significantly with aging. Some studies indicate up to 50% by age 60. By then, you're running on fumes. No wonder everything freaking hurts and nothing works anymore. The protocol is simple, 100 milligrams subcutaneous injection, anywhere between two times a week up to every day. Injections will sometimes sting, but patients say it's worth it, the energy, the mental clarity, even skin improvement. Linda, 55 years old, exhausted all the time. She did NAD plus MOTC. She did, did a three month cycle of MOTC and she said she felt 30 again. Not exaggerating. The biomarkers confirm cellular improvements. Specifically, we noticed an improvement in her fasting insulin. Look, I need to be straight with you. This isn't for people looking for a quick fix or a magic pill. This is medical optimization. It takes real commitment. But if you're done with half measures and you're ready for what actually works, we'll leave a link in the bio where you can book a free discovery call. Now, let me show you how to stack these properly. So what we've observed in our clinics, individual peptides work, but patients that our doctors prescribe, we utilize strategic combinations to under close medical supervision, they're often reporting that they just feel better overall. Now understand that these combinations haven't been studied together in controlled trials. This is purely based off of what patients tell us when they're monitored closely. And again, having the benefit of coaching so many individuals, I get to see this stuff every single day and it's amazing. Peptides truly are the future of medicine. Fat loss stack number one, terzepatide plus AOD for fasting support and tesamorolin for visceral fat in the evenings. In the morning, take your AOD if you're gonna fast workout or if you're not gonna work out in the morning, then just take your AOD in the morning. Weekly terzepatide injection and then five nights on, you're gonna do the tesamorolin 
moral in at bedtime. Patients typically see 15 to 20% body weight loss in six months on this stack, but more importantly, they report keeping it off because we've addressed multiple factors, not just appetite. This is not rapid weight loss because we're incorporating resistance training to protect muscle mass on your body. Understand, this is pharmaceutical grade optimization. This isn't supplement store stuff. Our patients understand the commitment that's required and the results speak for themselves. Stack number two for energy, MOT-C to fix your mitochondria and NAD for cellular fuel. And then if you want to add some weekly B12 injections, that'll definitely push the needle too as well. Richard, one of our patients had chronic fatigue for 10 years and this combination got him back to cycling 50 miles on weekends. His wife says that she got her husband back too. His wife was ecstatic because now they get to do things together, be more active, and he was struggling with that. He just didn't have the energy for it before. So let's talk about cycling. This is important. Cycling your peptides will prevent tolerance. 12 weeks on, four weeks off for most peptides. GLP-1s can run longer. Understand that timing matters. Growth hormone peptides, you're gonna do them at night. You can do a second dose in the morning, five days on, two days off. Your energy peptides in the morning and your fat mobilizers in the morning too as well because likely you're gonna be fasting in the morning. Now here's how I recommend recommend approaching this. Get some baseline labs, pick a primary goal, and find legitimate sources. This is optimization medicine. You have an opportunity here to prevent disease, not treat them. What I've shared is educational content based on clinical observations, not medical advice. You need medical supervision, period. Bottom line, these peptides used correctly under medical supervision are helping patients transform their lives. Fat loss, energy, endurance, it's all possible. But peptides amplify what you're doing. They can't override a bad diet, lack of exercise, save your money, unless you plan on doing strategic lifestyle interventions at the same time, because that's truthfully how your health can take off. You gotta be willing to put in the work. Now, if you guys want help, a tailored peptide program where you can get a clinician to look at these things with you and get the coaching and support that you need, I'll leave a link in the description where you can book a free to discovery call with our experts. They'll take the time to get to know you, your struggles, your goals, and talk about different peptide solutions that we have to be able to help you out. And if you guys enjoyed that video, check out this video right here. This is the 10 most common mistakes that patients make on their GLP-1 weight loss journey. We'll see you later.